This short video may provide an explanation why test results of less than 100 degrees C are often achieved during the superheat test. By using a glass expansion tube it's possible to see two main locations where condensate is present in quantity. The first is located about 40 millimeters away from the pitot tube outlet and is where the superheat temperature sensor would normally be. The second location is where the pitot tube outlet is and condensate is evident in much greater quantities. What you will see is condensate moving along the wall of the expansion tube in the opposite direction to flow, moving towards the orifice. It is believed that the flow of steam out of the orifice causes a low pressure area immediately adjacent to the orifice. This causes the condensate to flow in the reverse direction and allows the condensate to be entrained with the steam. Superheat is dissipated as a result of the entrainment and this provides an explanation as to why we get low temperatures. We hope that you find this short video useful and a good explanation as to why the superheat test always passes. Thank you.